Now we are away. Richarlison gives it to Son, who gives it to Basuma. Basuma's away. He's going to strike, surely. A terrific start to this campaign. And Chelsea gives it out wide to Sessignon. Sessignon, I'm going to strike with Sessignon. Hello again and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 22 career mode with Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. And as you can see, we are doing incredibly well. 40 points out of our first 17 games. We sit top of the table, three points clear of Chelsea and five points clear of a surprise package in Crystal Palace. So let's head over to the calendar. We did actually decide to split this December month in half due to the fact that we have eight games to play. And in this episode, we'll have four. So we'll have West Brom at home, which I'll probably sim. Then we've got United away in the Carabao Cup. That's going to be a very, very difficult draw. And then we've got Chelsea away, which of course we will play. And then we'll finish up with a played game against Southampton away. In terms of the aims of this uh, this episode, definitely want to win against Bruce Bromwich Albion. Definitely want to win against Southampton. And to be honest, right now, I'd probably take a draw away at Chelsea. That will hopefully keep them at, uh, at arm's length of us in the title as well. And if we can get past Manchester United, well, happy, happy days. So enough of the chat. Let's head over to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and let's get the first match against West Brom up and running. And you can see I am making several changes. In fact, I'm completely rotating the team. I know I've got a cup game, which normally in midweek, sorry, which normally I rotate for, but it is against Manchester United and I think it is going to be an incredibly difficult game. My team are very, very fatigued after a uh, difficult North London derby. So hopefully uh, this refreshed team will be able to get a result against West Brom. And annoyingly, we cannot. A draw is all we can get. Brian Hill on the score sheet and Robinson for West Brom gets, uh, gets an equaliser in well, five minutes left of uh, normal time. So, yeah, disappointing start to this episode, especially as we do have Chelsea away. And that is the game that I uh, thought perhaps we might drop points. But we already start by dropping points. Let's hope we can pick up our performance against Manchester United. And on we go to the Carabao Cup against Manchester United. And as you can see from my team, a few changes afoot for this game. I have brought back several of my first team players, but Richarlison takes the place of Harry Kane. Emerson Royale and Sessegnon start in the wing-back positions and Huibier drops to the bench for Basuma. As for United, they have gone full strength as well. So, uh, yeah, I thought they might, uh, they might try and play maybe one or two reserves, but no. They want to win this competition just as much as I do. So let's see whether or not we can get the job done. Short free kick to Ronaldo. Plays it through to Donny van der Beek. Donny van der Beek using some lovely, lovely footwork. Gets away from the defender. And Hugo Lloris is called into action early on in this first half. United go deep with the corner. It's a lovely corner. And it's a big head from Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's an even bigger save from Hugo Lloris. Fortunately for us... He is very much paying attention early on in this game because I certainly am not. I really switched off there and it remains nil-nil. Out to Basuma again. Basuma to Son. Going to look for Sessignon. I find Sessignon. Going to try and stand this up. It's in to... It was into Valverde. And he just couldn't get the strike away. Great block from the defender. I think this should go out for a call. Actually, no. I don't think it took a touch of him. It should go out for a goal kick. Or a Charleston up ahead of him. Charleston turns, lovely turn away, and Richarlison now has space to run into. He's got the pace to run into as well. Lovely ball in. Son couldn't get enough on it. The Haya collects, and United get it away once again. And annoyingly, it looks like, oh, that is terrible news. Looks like it's Valverde who is down, injured, and that is not what I want. He has probably been our best player so far this season. It's been a huge signing for us. And annoyingly, yes, he is off injured. So, okay, it's going to be Hoybier who's going to come back on for him. But I'm really, really hoping that is not as serious as it looks. Son. Looking for the run of Richarlison. Finds the run. Richarlison finds the back of the net. 1-0. Absolutely lovely goal. Lovely work from Heung-Min Son. What a ball through to Richarlison. He does the dance. It's 1-0 here. And to be honest, I would say we've deserved it. I think we, do, we have been the better team. I think we've played some decent football. That is an outstanding ball through from Heung-Min Son. Lovely control with Richarlison on his right. Even better finish on his left. 
finds Sessegnon down this left-hand side. Sessegnon going to come inside. He is. He's now got space to run into. This is a great run from Sessegnon. Lovely little dinked ball. Richarlison just ran ahead for whatever reason. I don't know. All he needed to do was just check his run. And it would have been 2-0. Ronaldo does well to skip away from De Ligt. Does very well to get away from Romero as well. He's got the pace. That is an outstanding, outstanding goal from, I think, a 38-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo. He absolutely did De Ligt on the turn. Had the pace to get away from Romero. And that is a sensational goal. I can't even argue. I can't even get annoyed with it. Look at the work he does from just on the edge of our half. Absolutely outpaces and outstrengths Romero and smashes it into the top into the bottom left hand corner leaves Lloris with no chance United a level 1-1 Donny van der Beek back to Casemiro to the goal scorer Ronaldo he gets tackled by Bastoni and now we are away Richarlison gives it to Son who gives it to Basuma. Basuma's away he's going to strike surely that is a brilliant brilliant save Richarlison why did you keep that in play it was about to go out for a corner. Laird. How did he... How on earth did he keep that in play? That was unbelievable stuff. Pesuma. Out to Richarlison. Son here into Hoybier. Lovely little turn from him. Romero. He has acres of space on this right-hand side. Dink this across. Good defending. They just get in the way of it. And De Gea will boot this clear. Spinozola. Brings this forward. Completely unmarked. And unchallenged. And now Muriel has it. Rashford. Really in a dangerous area. Lovely ball through. Spinazzola will get there. That is a lovely ball through. Sessignon just in the way. It's a United corner. They really are putting the pressure on here. Oh, not enough. Can't get rid of it. Can eventually. Basuma has it. The substitute Lucas Mora. Surely he has the pace to get away. He does. He will knock this on into the penalty area. The ball is there for Son. The ball is in the back of the net. Hyung Min Son makes it 2 1. He doesn't. Again, Hyung Min Son is offside. It's so easy for him just to not be offside. Just stay in line, Son. It's not difficult. Muriel. Lovely, lovely through ball to Laird. Is he onside? He is. That's a great ball in. Thomas Muller isn't able to get there first, and Hugo Lloris, brave there, picks that up. Lays it off to Lucas Mora. Do we have one more chance left in us? Lucas Mora, he's got the pace. Is he going to go down this right-hand side? Runs it off for a throw-in, and it will go to extra time. So actually, I thought it was going to go off to extra time, but it's actually going off to penalties, and Bruno Fernandes buries that into the bottom right-hand corner. And we, we've only ever had one other penalty shootout on this FIFA career mode, and of course it was the Europa League final last year. We did win that. And that is a phenomenal penalty from Richarlison there. We did win it. Can we do the same here? Hugo Lloris beaten for the second time. 2-1 to United. I'm going to go straight down the middle with Hyung Min Son here. That is a very, very good penalty. Straight down the middle. Left the goalkeeper with no chance. Hugo Lloris, third time lucky. Goes to that side. Smashes his head into the post. I don't know how he wasn't even concussed. But he gets the job done. And now we have the chance... To take the lead, Lucas Moura to go down the right-hand side. That is a lovely, lovely penalty. We lead 3-2 here. Sancho, um, that is a horrendous penalty. He goes wide. I was going to go, I thought he was going to go down the middle, so I kept Lloris down the middle, but fortunately, he sends it wide. And Basuma has the chance to take us into the next round. Can he do it? Can he do it? No. What an awful, awful penalty blazes it over the bar and now the veteran Thomas Muller to take the penalty it's a good one sends Lloris the wrong way 3-3 we still have the opportunity to go through here I'm going to play it safe I'm going to go down the middle it's in thank you very much we beat Manchester United in the Carabao Cup and we sail on through to the next round we get further than we did last season with a much much harder draw a difficult penalty shootout a difficult game but it's another game that we managed to get a positive result from. And it's another penalty shootout that we managed to win. Two for two. And we are through to the next round. So whilst the positive news is we managed to get past Manchester United in the Carabao Cup. The negative news is the ACL curse of FIFA 22 
strikes again. My best player so far this season, Valverde, is now up, is now out for seven months, and that means he's pretty much out for the rest of the season, and pretty much out for the rest of this career mode. I am absolutely devastated. He's been our best player. He's our best ranked midfielder. And that is such a kick in the teeth. It gives Oliver Skip the chance to try and make a name for himself in our midfield. It's going to be Basuma and Hoybier that are going to be my uh, my first choice too. But obviously now that I've sold Bentoncourt, I don't actually have another central midfielder who is a uh, who is a senior player. So let me have a quick look. I've got Oliver Skip, obviously. Um, I'm going to put Basuma in the starting lineup ahead of him. As Skip is only rated 80. Um, I guess Brian Hill can can possibly play there, um, but yeah, we don't really have any other options. We we don't actually have another central midfielder. The only one is Jamie Bowden. So um, yeah, leaves us in a bit of a tricky position. But anyway, on to the next game, and it is the big one, the huge game at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea. You can see the Premier League table. Because of our draw against West Brom earlier on in the episode, we are now only one point clear of Chelsea. So this really is a massive, massive game at Stamford Bridge. And I'm going to go back, obviously, to my full-strength team, Basuma. It's quite a lot of fatigue off of his last game. So this is a big chance for Oliver Skip to step up and try and stake a claim for a first team spot in our first 11. It's going to be very interesting to see what he can do here. It's going to be very interesting to see what we can do at Stamford Bridge. If we have a quick look at their lineup. They brought in Klosterman, who was, if anyone remembers from the early series, on my uh, on one of my shortlists for a centre-back. Obviously, we didn't go for him in the end. They've also brought in Dabala as well. So, yeah, this is going to be a very, very difficult game. Gives it to Oliver Skip. I'm pretty sure... In terms of played games, lovely play from Oliver Skip there. But uh, this is the first game that Oliver Skip has started. But to be honest, I cannot tell you how gutted I am that uh, I've lost Valverde. He was our best player and really, really someone I enjoyed playing with. He's been instrumental in the midfield. He's chipped in with, I think, five Premier League goals and I think a couple of Champions League goals as well. So he really has had a terrific start to this campaign. And Chelsea almost... Had a terrific start to the game. Kai Havertz blazes over. And I tell you what, we've got away with one there. That's the ball back from Gaia though. Chelsea counter-attack again. Abamyang. Lovely ball over the top. Sakaria continues his run on this right-hand side. Plays the ball in. And it's 1-0. How on earth? I think was it Romero or De Ligt? I don't know which one of them was beaten to the ball. And beaten to the ball by Dabala. Come on, that is ridiculous. He's one of the smallest people on the pitch. And I think, if we look at the replay, it was Romero. He's had a few dodgy moments this season. And Lloris, who has been outstanding in goal, has had an absolute shocker there. It's not even a particularly strong header. It's looped over him. And Lloris almost ducks down. That is terrible. That is a terrible, terrible goal to give away. Terrible defending. Terrible goalkeeping. Chelsea lead 1-0. Hoybier, I'm trying to look for gaps. I can't find them. This is where Valverde... And his, uh, his industry and his creativity in midfield was, is really going amiss today. We aren't really struggling without him. Chilwell brings this down the left-hand side. Lovely ball down the line to Aubameyang. Plays it inside to Havertz. Back over to Dybala. Conor Gallagher. Lovely ball back to Dybala. Lovely little flick. And Havertz is there. Big save again from Hugo Lloris. Don't know where my centre-backs were. Absolutely nowhere to be found. And it's another big chance from Havertz that he doesn't take. He's going to run down this left-hand side. Doesn't have the pace to go past Conor Gallagher. And that is brilliant, brilliant defending. And he has acres of space to run into. It's Jung Min Son trying to make up the ground. Lovely ball to Havertz. De Ligt is there for the block. And Chelsea have another corner just on the stroke of half-time. I'm assuming they're going to go short. They do. Dubaya to fire this in. Kane away. Can Hoybier get it away? He can't. He only gets as far as Mount. Hoybier again. That's a poor clearance. Mount. Koulibaly sticks it in the back of the net. It's 2-0 Chelsea. And this has been a horrendous first half for us. We've been so poor 
I don't even know if we've created a clear-cut chance. Chelsea, they've had about four or five clear-cut chances. They've been walking all over us this half. And whether it's Valverde missing or whether it's just Chelsea being too good for us, I don't know. Lovely volley from Koulibaly. 2-0 Chelsea. You've got to reach through that out. It was a terrible throw. Zakaria, he's going to throw this in the box. Aubameyang over the bar. It's another big chance for Chelsea. And it's another chance that we easily, easily give away. And it is time for a substitute. Mason Mount gives it to Dybala. Back to Mount, to Broja. Where on earth is the switching? There are no switching. And Ricardo Pereira ends up looking like he's going to run this out. And that again, I mean, it's just shocking defending Romero. Has had an absolute shocker. The AI have had a shocker. I can't switch. I just can't switch players. It's driving me up the wall. And this scoreline is driving me up the wall. Chelsea lead. Look how easy it is for Brozier just to run forward. Every time I try and switch it, it switches to the wrong player. Ricardo Pereira and uh, Royale, uh, not Royale, Romero, running all over the shop. And Chelsea are running all over us. 3-0 here at the bridge. Over to Gaia. Doesn't really have too many options. Lovely little turn from him, though, to get away from Gallagher. He's going to go backwards here. Into Skip. Skip into Richarlison. Richarlison's going to strike. That is a brilliant, brilliant finish from Richarlison. I don't really want you dancing. I want you to pick the ball up. And he won't pick the ball up. He'll just run off and he will do his dance. So he does his dance, which, you know, it's kind of pointless, really. We're, we're losing 3-1 here. This is a, uh, a leg up. Can we can we carry out some sort of miracle here at Stamford Bridge? It's not looking likely. But Richarlison, the substitute, that is a lovely finish from Richarlison. Gives us some form of hope. Just under 20 minutes left to play. What can we do? Gip intercepts. Gives it to Harry Kane. Harry Kane looks for Richarlison. It's a lovely ball through to Richarlison. Can he finish here? Ah, oh, why did he finesse it on his left? Gives it to Hoybier again. Hoybier looks for Richarlison. Richarlison strikes. It's two. It's Chelsea three, Tottenham two. And since we've made the substitution, we have switched to a 4-3-3. And I tell you what, we have got ourselves right back in this game. And we have got a game. Ten minutes left. We just need one more goal to equalise. And Chelsea, are they falling apart here at Stamford Bridge? Ten minutes to find a goal. Can we do it? Oh, the goal scorer Brozier gives it to the substitute Kante. Gives it out wide to Chilwell, who somehow finds himself on the right wing. Havertz into Kante. Out wide to Sakaria. He crosses it in. It's over. Brozier with the goal to finish us off. It's a lovely, lovely piece of build-up play from Chelsea. And just when we had a glimmer of hope that we might be able to get the equaliser, annoyingly... Chelsea get the fourth goal and that will seal the game. Absolutely lovely, lovely play all over the shop at the back. It's Romero who lost his man again. Brozier with his second of the game. It's Chelsea fourth. It's Chelsea four. Tottenham two. You're really, really struggling. Ricardo Pereira fortunately just hacks that one away and that will be that. It's the most goals I've conceded in a game that I've played. It's a really, really bad loss to Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. It's a loss that we really, really couldn't afford to take. Chelsea will overtake us in the Premier League standings. They will go top. I think we will drop down to second. Chelsea stick four past us here at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea four, Tottenham two. And on we go to the final game of this episode. It's an away game at St Mary's against Southampton. You can see they've gone 4-4-2. And as for us, you can see I've had to make a few changes, especially in midfield. Kulazewski is had to drop back into centre midfield. Oliver Skip and um, Huybier are both absolutely knackered. Uh, neither of them have been able to make the bench. Huybier pretty tired and also Oliver Skip is even more tired. So I think if I play them, I'm slightly concerned that I will, uh, will run the risk of them running into an injury. So Kulazewski dropped into central midfield. Brian Hill will come in in attacking midfield. Richarlison after his, uh, his double against Chelsea, comes in in place of Harry Kane, who drops to the bench. And as you can see, I've got Bowden in central midfield on the substitutes bench. That is what it's come down to, because I don't have another central midfielder. So, slightly regretting selling Benton Core. Um, but yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> Armstrong has it now. Make the Niles. 
Southampton always very, very tricky customers, especially Nate Maitland-Niles. He always seems to have a very, very good game for us. Maybe it's his Arsenal connections coming through. I don't know. But uh, he has it now. Gives it back to Armstrong into De Hood. Lovely little turn from him there. Gets away from Bastoni. Lovely play from Southampton. And Hugo Lloris forced into a very early save. Do a lot of work now in central midfield. And that is maybe why he's not a central midfielder. It's a poor pass. Gives it straight to Redmond. And Watkins is away. And it's Hugo Lloris with another big save. Southampton definitely threatening our goal far more than we are. Armstrong with the corner for Southampton. Going to throw this one in. Goes to the penalty spot. It's away from Longley. It's not very far. Kudaszewski tries to get up. Only out as far as the edge of our box. Redmond has it. What is he going to do with it? Oh, that is a lovely, lovely turn from Redmond. Into the who? Watkins. That is Larice's third save so far this game. He is keeping us in it. It could be 3 0. Almost found Richarlison. Just got intercepted. Southampton away here. And Lacroix is really struggling with Watkins. I'm really struggling with Southampton. That is lovely play. And that is the fourth. The fourth big save from Hugo Lloris. The runner who's running from deep. We do manage to. But Braithwaite picks it up in acres of space in midfield. Bastoni nowhere to be found. And Longley with a very, very important and well-timed challenge. Kudaszewski now. He has Son ahead of him. Gives it to Son. Who now... Gives it out wide to Emerson Royale. Emerson Royale drives into the box. Cuts back inside. Hits it with his left. That's the best chance of the game so far for us. McCarthy with a good save. Good work there from Emerson Royale. It will be our first corner. And that is more like it. Only as far as Basuma. Wins it for us. Basuma gives it out wide to Sessignon. Sessignon. I'm going to strike with Sessignon. What an unbelievable strike that was. I wasn't expecting that, to be completely honest. Forces McCarthy into, well, an unbelievable save. Look at the distance on this. That is a lovely hit from Sessegnon. And that is a brilliant save from McCarthy. Son with the corner. Into the box. It's a great corner. It's a brilliant, brilliant head from Longley. And undeservedly, we lead here at St. Mary's. That is an absolute bullet header from Longley and we find ourselves 1-0 up. We definitely don't deserve that. We have been horrendous. Southampton should at least be about 3 or 4-0 up. McCarthy beaten this time. Great corner from Son and Longley gets ahead of the defender. The man on the line couldn't stop the ball from going in. Tottenham 1, Southampton 0. Lovely ball over the top. Straight into Maitland-Niles. Quar with a great Important header away. Kulusevski battling with De Who Doesn't manage to get it done. But it's a good save again from Hugo Lloris. Quite to win that. He does win that well. Watkins to Arebo. Back to Watkins. He's got space to run into here. Lovely little stuff. That is lovely. Oh my word. Is that offside? It is offside. I mean, either way, we got very, very lucky with that. He is just offside. But wow. What incredible build-up play from Southampton. Smash that against the crossbar. And again, we get away with one. And if we end up winning this game, we will count ourselves very, very lucky. With two minutes left on the clock, two minutes of stoppage time, I should say, referee, blow the whistle, he does. And somehow, we get away with that. It's a 1-0 win away from home at St Mary's. And I tell you what, Southampton, they, sh they shouldn't have not even drawn it. They should have won the game. We can really count our lucky stars here. 1-0 to Spurs after countless, countless Southampton chances that go begging. We are very, very lucky boys at the St. Mary's Stadium. It's Southampton 0, Tottenham 1. And that is that for the end of this episode. And all in all, it's been a pretty positive episode. As you can see, we are back to the top of the table. Chelsea, I think, obviously must have maybe drawn I'm just trying to see who they drew against they drew against Crystal Palace so they find themselves back down into second in spite of beating us 4-2 United and City making up the rest of the top four Liverpool in fifth Palace sixth and Arsenal all the way down in eighth and if we scroll back down to the bottom Brentford West Brom and Stoke in the relegation places so all to play for down the bottom of the table and very much all to play for at the top us and Chelsea locked in a very very close title battle with United not too far behind in third place. If we move on to the calendar, let's have a little look to see 
what we will we, we, we I can't even talk what we will be playing in the next episode there is one more game in this uh in this month to play it will be against Aston Villa but I am going to do that next episode and then I'm going to follow up with Chelsea so we've been drawn we've been drawn to Chelsea in the semi-final of the Carabao Cup so we'll play a double leg with them we've got Wigan in the FA Cup we've got Wolves in the league we've got West Brom in the league and then we've got Arsenal at home in the Premier League again so again another jam-packed episode and it's another episode I might actually split into two but either way it's been a very, very productive episode so far. If you have enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like and subscribe. It really does absolute wonders for the channel. And hopefully, I will see you again next time. Thanks very much for watching.